Cancelled. Don't remember doing this at all. I can only hold myself accountable. Cancelled. I am just. Look how good my life is. So what else? Cancelled. Time emotion is cancelled. I just spilled Red Bull <laughs> literally <laughs> directly so inside my nipple ring. You're so I'm wet. so I'm soaking wet, you guys. <laughs> right. And well, there's just look of disdain. He <laughs> <looks> <laughs> <at her. laughs> Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of the Cancelled Podcast. We've made it to three episodes without a lawsuit, without stopping production. It's pretty amazing. Guys, yeah. that's a pretty big thing. Sure. I'm gonna yeah. give us a little round of applause yeah. for that. You know what? Get, just us three clapping. No one's here today. Are you gonna talk? I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, no, all the comments said, Brooke, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just like, the no, entire podcast. <laughs> um, I asked everyone on Twitter what they wanted to hear about. And the number, the top two things people want to hear about, first okay. of all, is how we came about to being friends again. Mm. Okay. People are very, like, they're just utterly shocked at the fact that two people can fight and then fix a friendship and that there's no real hatred yeah. there. And like, well, I was going to say, I never boy. left the friendship with you, correct? We, Hunter? I was Hunter a writer. Make sure Go. friends are okay. I just got to no. put that in. In there. I, I don't fight. First right, of all, well. he deserves the recognition because you. we know a lot. Some people were fake. Some people mm -hmm. wanted me dead. A lot of people. <laughs> true, <actually. laughs> very true. I'm sorry. We will. We were going to get into that one a little later because um, I think that there's a lot to a lot to. I need to drink a little bit more before we get back to yeah, that. Yeah, there's one. a lot. There's a lot to break down. But uh, but the other thing that a lot of people were asking about a lot is about if I still have a stalker or updates on my stalker. We got something. That's I, for sure. I don't know if I'm educated enough on the stalker. Like, yeah, I don't even know really much about. Brooke the actually wasn't really yeah. around during the the true stalker era. We're gonna have to bleep his name. His name. <laughs> shout out. He started all of me. You being never stalked. trust a man. What yeah, no, sincerely. Should I just say his name? I've never said my stalker's I don't think name. So, because I'll probably where get killed. Like, that's like guessing jail? like high. I think you're not supposed to say. The yeah, stalker's yeah, name. yeah. And I don't know where he is right now. Names. He like he likes to move around to keep me on my toes. Yeah. So I, I don't know how much. I mean, maybe I'll just fucking say it. That's kind of some big tea. Okay. But with that being said, we have a new stalker. Everyone's been asking about updates mm -hmm. on people coming to the house. And we've upped our security absolutely psychotically. Like yes. it's it's so annoying. It's more expensive than literally the house itself. It is it is so so mm -hmm. so fucking annoying. But we have ninety thousand fucking guards outside finally. But the reason 90, that we 000. chose to up our security ninety thousand like Danicon. I'm like, like there's twenty thousand people phone. outside. Like, <laughs> twenty thousand people showed. <laughs> oh my god, Hunter was there for that. That was, that was so bad. Wild. He was like, "There's not twenty thousand people. Like, you fucking 12. idiot." <laughs> Hold me accountable. Uh, People have been coming for you guys for like saying you're, you like shit on me, but it's like if I wanted a podcast of yes men, I would just that's what I'm saying. have that. I'm saying we are your hype men behind closed doors, and in front of you, we will talk. That's shit. that's the thing. If anyone were to talk to me about Tana, who's like when she's not around, I'm like, oh my god, she's brilliant, she's smart, she's amazing, she's beautiful. When chill, I'm talking chill, to chill, Tana, chill, I'm chill, like, chill, you chill. fucking <laughs> honestly awful, hate you, <laughs> dude. I I would love to hear this alleged hype. You know what I mean? It right, sounds huh? it sounds beautiful. No, I'm They'll kidding. They actually it. are amazing friends. I'll say it again. But um, I want to read to you this note that was left on my door this week, and I went straight to David crying because I don't want to live in this house anymore. We're gonna put it up on the screen so you can see it. It's beautiful, um, and it says. Letter to Tana Mosho. Hello, gorgeous. This is a secret letter from your biggest lover, who also happens to have a large social media following. Mm. That's huge. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> she loves him already. <laughs> Me praying, it's like Mr. Beast. <laughs> God. Here is a clue to my identity. We love that too. That mm -hmm. brings back the OG stalker to me. You right. know what I mean? When it's like a little puzzle, it freaks yeah. me the fuck out too. Because I think it's one thing to like stalk, but to be like, here's a clue. Like you're gonna fucking kill oh, this me. This is fun. It's yeah. like an escape room. Yeah, yeah, except yeah. it's my own it's life. Like <laughs> What is old but acts young at the same time? Jason Nash. I was just oh. gonna say Jason oh Nash. I swear to God, I was just gonna I say love that. Jason Nash. I great. swear to God, I was just gonna say that. That was so strange. Oh my God. P.S. <laughs> P.S. I am friends with the previous owner of this house. Winky okay. emoji. All post, signs work. Post on all signs point to Jason Nash. <laughs> <laughs> post on a story and tag me if you know who this is. Dash your secret lover. Do they know how much your stories cost? First of all, <laughs> yeah. Like first of all, fuck you. That's like for a free shout free, out. Like no free clout. And here. also, I why would I? Are. Literally, literally, you're gonna stalk me for fucking free clout. But like at the same time, I also would never post that because it would just like incline them to like uh -huh. stalk time, me more. Exactly. Every time you post something, I feel like it makes people like want to show up. But the like, riddle has been fucking me in the face, dude. Yeah, the riddle's very weird. What she is old that. but young at the same time? 
Yeah, I'd give you my answer. No, I, I was like Googling it. It's not a common riddle. Like, do you think I'm that smart? If you're stalking me, like you like maybe like two plus two, but my also, ass. Like if you're if you're actually someone that, you know, they would have been like, ha ha ha. You saw that message by now. Like they would have. It's been like a couple of weeks. No, like, I don't know. If I left a riddle and no one like fully understood it, I'd probably just take it to the grave. Like, really? oh, fuck, I like that's kind of I mean, weird, right? I also like I, I racked my brain. I asked David. I don't think it's one of David's friends. We checked the cameras yeah. and you can see their shadow. And it's like a, it's like a tiny person. Like mm. a, I, maybe like big neck but he's like not on good term you know what i mean i don't know maybe we should lie, just... i should apologize for what i did that one time when you were still scared about your stalker and i did come to your house and cause an absolute ruckus and... oh before he had a mental health brand <laughs> this man was, was mean yeah. this man was mean okay also let's no. clarify before this happened she took my car out for a day she's like my assistant needs to borrow a car gave my car back wrapped with her face this on is it. not the timeline. you're yes, welcome it is. this is the not the timeline i lived at alamar when i wrapped your car this is not so the timeline what, this is at my it. town home <laughs> ask yourself no, why you I did, did that a valid, a no i i pranked i no i rolled all over your walls with lipstick oh yeah that way worse yeah she oh completely my demolished my entire apartment where i did not have money to fix she my wants apartment. completely demolish my entire life. Yeah, it's, it's a little different. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about me. Um, she wrote like fuck you all stuff. Doesn't clean it up for Cheater. the entire lease. I the hate entire, like, a whole year. So every time I had Wait, friends, you over, didn't clean it up. It you wasn't cleanable. You had to paint it. Was it was red lipstick that she completely like on a white wall. It anyway, was actually like really immature. I don't even bad. know where you buy a new door. Yeah, and it was a wall. The walls in the apartment oh. too, not just my door. And like he shared the apartment yeah. with roommates, and they were. Furious. Anyways, so in return for this, I, I I was being heavily stalked at the time. A week before we were sleeping in bed, my stalker was outside your house. Remember that? And oh, we yeah, like that had to crazy. leave with like a knife. They and like shit. they were tracking her find my iPhone, and they sent me sent her my address and said we're coming to your house. How right do now. they have your find my iPhone? Maybe I'm they were in my iCloud. This was this was the time when I had an iCloud I still do not I can't yeah. have an iCloud because it's like the number one way people stalk me is they go inside my iCloud and like go on my find my iPhone my find my friends and like stalk the shit crazy. out of me and like we go literally my left photos. in the middle of the night like 4 a.m. we just got in my car I grabbed the like knife steak and I was knife. Just, like, ready oh to my go. god no psycho and then a week yeah. later Hunter decided to fucking wait till I was at my house and like push flour under my door cover everything push, in chocolate okay. syrup I, I threw chocolate syrup all across her her rear or uh, one of her Windows. Doors given yeah, that doors. doesn't give me stalker then, vibes. Then I threw, I'd be like, no, I it's like three a.m. Some, some, uh, flower at her place and like threw some ham or something like that on her. So you like teepeed her basically. Pretty much. Yes, but imagine like your peak being stalked and you're just like sitting in your town and, yeah. and you're like Meanwhile, knocking she's and then texting everything. me being like, they're shoving powder under the door. <laughs> they are coming in. And I was just and like, knowing her, she's probably like amplifying it. Oh, times oh my yeah. god, yeah. just knock down my obviously because I just did it. And also she, five minutes before, she's like, yeah, I'm at the gym. Like I'll see you in a little bit. And like then she's. Like they're at my house. I'm like, how do you know they're at your house? You liar. <laughs> I'm trying to lie to you to see all like fit and whatever. Not at the gym. I called the police too, and the police literally were just treating me like a fucking idiot. They were like, Are you sure this isn't like a crazy ex-boyfriend? I was like, No, no. Like, what do you think? Someone's pranking me? I'm like, no, he won't fucking date me. <laughs> like, yeah, just I FaceTimed her like five minutes later in like all camo with like two of my roommates, just like, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, and it was it was absolutely out. evil. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's so I mean, deserved. now to discuss other things that have happened this week. I mean the podcast went number one. I think that we could just start on a high note and go crazy from there. The podcast went number, number one. one. I me acting like we have anything to do with it. Maybe Hunter. <laughs> no, I know. I think she. I've been posting it, it like crazy. I'm like, no, I am so fucking grateful. It's ridiculous. I'm not kidding. I really didn't think that we would be able to do like anything. Like I like no numbers. Mm -hmm. I really thought we'd be like thirty of thirty on a chart, maybe. So to think people, Chill it's it. almost like so much pressure just to think people like are expecting this amazing. I, know, it's only, I was saying that it. Me, I'm like more nervous going to this one than the last one because now I feel like people are listening. Mm -hmm. I know, like now you know. And like, now I know what they thought about me the first time, the whole time I'm gonna be like, first of all, my lip injections, gotta go. Well, Brooke <laughs> Got loves it. to read comments. I and will like, never, I will never I, read comments. I, 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 I will me. never read comments again after Cap. today because the whole day I was like, <laughs> Liar, she oh my it. God, they hate me. The whole time it's like, why the fuck is Mindy on the podcast? I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good because you give me like feedback. We were talking today about how I just like literally don't give a fuck at all, but like you obviously like take a chart i think it's a good balance though someone's got to care for it you're like, so uh, good at receiving hate i've never seen anybody <laughs> receive something yeah. so well someone says one thing about me and it'll like wreck my day. i think when you just get goddamn beat yeah, down thing, no one like gives <laughs> no. about me so when someone com like cares enough to comment something awful about me i'm like okay like fair enough mean? i mean i feel like i've just like heard at this point there's nothing someone could say to me like as mean as it possibly is i feel like i've heard it before so yeah, it's like it's, it's a weird it's a weird thing yeah, I, get that. I don't even know i mean now the next thing i really want to talk about i'm going completely out of order though is Exciting. our roommate my best friend your best friend your best friend ari 
has oh, been going man. more viral than the fucking podcast this and week. And this is the best thing ever for this kid. He like, needed it. I've been waiting. So badly. He is so pumped it's Dude, happening. and why? I'm like, that should be me. Like, why? <laughs> Couldn't ha it have been me? I mean, I don't know if you guys. You're telling me literally last week I sat on this very podcast and talked about how I'm sexually attracted to Bryce Hall. And two minutes later, my and gay best friend is kissing him on the streets of fucking LA. I'm like, I'm. I don't know if you guys know this about Bryce, but he he does kiss everyone when he's drunk. It's, it's kind of like me. I used to be terrible at this. Utterly fucking mm -hmm. terrible. Utterly terrible. Everyone at the party. I remember one time I kissed like 30 people at a house party and like all of my current like man's friends and it was just terrible. So I, I, I've held back since then. But Bryce is very much like that and kisses everyone. And we were leaving and he was like, Ari, kiss me. And I'm sitting there just like all the paparazzis there. I'm just, all the paparazzi team Bryce. Um, and they're all fucking sitting there. I'm just like, God, I wish that was me. And then they kissed, and it went I said viral. Was three kisses, by the way. Ari, well, you know, Ari was again. going back for more. And a, and a Can extra we, one for good measure. Can we yeah. roll the clip? Ari and Bryce. I'm just oh, ready. There to he see is, it. right there. Oh. Okay, he went in for the first kiss. Then he went for a second. Oh wait. But, one okay, more. run that back, Turbo. It like the way it, it. I it gives me a little secondhand embarrassment, and I can't really watch it. I know I don't have room to talk because my paparazzi videos are just god awful. We'll have a whole episode. Absolutely terrible. terrible. We're gonna do. Just kidding. It's really like you're really not that bad. Trying to be like yes, man. I, we need to have an episode where we react to all the terrible paparazzi. Brooke has Wait. tried to save me so much from that, and I just don't listen. Okay, so he goes, he goes, kiss, kiss, and then from what, uh, Ar, how Ari recalls the situation, mm -hmm. Bryce said, "Oh, I thought you were really gonna kiss me," and so then Ari goes yeah, and like kisses him on the lips. But then Bryce is like, Bryce like had a completely different explanation of the situation, Very probably to save. It's a really it's hard situation things. because both are cap. Like like Ari would I lie know, and Bryce would lie. Those are my lying friends. Yeah, honest to God. <laughs> but I really honestly <laughs> do kind of. Sh um, and then there's me. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, in a very strange way, kind of ship it. I would love, I like, obviously, like, we are, we're all just making jokes and, like, I don't know Bryce's, like, sexuality. He's always just been, like, very fun. I yeah. saw a lot of TikToks that were saying that he had a, like one time previously come out, come out or something. As, I don't know if that's true or not, so I, de I don't know. I don't like, think that's right. true. Of course. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's but true. But if he did, that's kind of hot. I've been into that lately. Like, I have Evan Mock. Do you guys know Evan Mock? No. No. He's on the new Gossip Girl. He's a pink hair. He's really good friends with Makoa, actually. Okay. Really? Cool. But he's so unbelievably hot and he's bisexual and for some reason that to me like makes him way hotter i don't know okay. i am in no, love. Yeah, whatever that's works. my new thing i'm so genuinely pissed this this moment wasn't me like i'm it's, not it's like funny though because everyone started doing it now like harry is like yeah, you know no, what every you saw how much ari was doing he's like I got oh this. harry's such a little fucking clout, oh, so clout, clout farmer isn't that what he I, I, I honestly like I, it inspires me that's what he says clout farming always like everyone always gets mad at people for being like you know what i mean clout yeah. farming clout hungry when you think about it when it's your career to be in the spotlight if you have an insight into you yeah. know what i mean like how to do that how to promote yourself in a way especially if, like the paparazzi are already filming you i always like really admire that also, but you're harry, you're harry so good at that i feel like but when i find someone else who is like it just makes my little day text like, me the other morning okay. asking to shoot while having sex like a voice memo and Don't i say and i saved it and you have to hear this wait i want to see oh it. my god please we're rolling on this conversation I'm like, that's yeah? so crazy i was out of town <laughs> ew are you <laughs> kidding no i'm not that's kidding that's fucking <laughs> insane that's the most that's that's Disturbing thing. Oh, that is so heard. Harry Jones. You're uh, called out. The I don't way know what Harry time that is. That's literally it. the way Harry's been called out so much on this podcast. Six fifty five a.m. Just beat in cheeks. <laughs> voice memoing you. Like that's him. fucking insane. Hunter it. and Harry are like besties for the rest. So it's very great. cute. No, that was the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Brooks just like, that should be me. He's he off the roster. He threatened to take me off the roster the other day. He said something. We were playing a game. We were playing a, like. Are we even on right yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. We were playing like like naughty Jenga or something, oh, yeah. and it was like like you would put take like a little block out, and then it would have like a crazy question on it. And his question was like, "How many girls have you made out with?" So it really wasn't that naughty of a question. I remember Harry literally going, "Less than I've slept with." Ha -ha. Yeah, <laughs> that was first of all that was funny. British, but I get where you were going Very with it. Funny. He literally said, "I've made out with less girls than I've slept with," meaning he like sleeps with yeah. girls and doesn't, and doesn't make them. out with and them. doesn't kiss them. And I go, "That's so disgusting." He looks straight at me and he goes, "I'll take you off my roster." I go, oh, you're like, "You're like, please, sir, no, no, please, go on." <laughs> no, he 
he's keep in mind this is all like Charlie Jordan's house. Her and Taylor just trying to play like an innocent. You know what I mean? Like, like, a, like a little like not, like a like a cute little sleepover game. And meanwhile, I'm like, what yeah. Me and Harry just came and fucking ruined that. Yeah. So this past weekend, we went to the most. Hunter really pulled a make a wish for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. He granted me with the best gift anyone could ever give me and that is taking me to see Justin Bieber. I did. It was and a little make sure your friends are okay. Throw in the brand promo. Gotta with, get it, guys. He has a company, uh, like a company called Make called Sure Your Friends Are Okay. If you didn't did know. An amazing event where you couldn't get tickets to it. You can only do charity work typically to go. And of um, course I did my hours. Of course she did gruesome go. hours. <laughs> just going just, in. Yeah. Just, yeah. Picking up but trash. You we know. did go and it was the best concert I've been to. And Dude, I it was it was so fun because Triller was also like sponsoring <laughs> it along with your brand. Big ups for you, you and Triller. They're just fucking hand in hand like that. I'm out here like begging, huge. begging That's to get a dildo saying. brand deal for the podcast. Brooke Hunter, what's going it's on? It's the age old question. No, feel free to ask. Are you getting enough? No, it's never enough. Dude, I be asking I'm this all the time, any. and I swear I'm always getting enough. And then you, you guys are. are just left in the dust. She's getting more than enough. In fact, she's left? getting enough for all three of us. I think so too. Wow, I've never thought about it like that. Each holes for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I bet you'd love more, right? <laughs> I mean, sure. What do you have to offer? Not personally, but. <laughs> All three holes. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, have? adamandeve.com, alongside me, wants to give you more. Okay. Okay. With this. 50% off just about any item. Any item. From sex swings to wow. handcuffs to lingerie to butt plugs to wow. restraints. To double yes. penetration dildos, Hunter. I know you love those. What? How do you know that? <laughs> I have no interest. Plus, free shipping on your entire order. Imagine getting all of that and then shipped to your door for free. For free is crazy. For free. So all you have to do to get your 50% off one item and free shipping, it's not hard. Go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. <laughs> just enter offer code Tana at checkout and you'll get 50% off almost any item go to adamandeve.com today select one item and get 50% off including free shipping when you enter offer code Tana that's T-A-N-A if mm. you can't spell like Bella Thorne that is oh my. I don't know why I attacked her I was literally right just now. bored I'm sorry that's T-A-N-A at adamandeve.com <laughs> you heard it here it was so fun because all the like all the TikTokers went. I, I don't am I allowed to say this? I was fully taking shots with Miss Heidi D'Amelio. Wow, and it made my you. life. It was so fun. She is such an icon. I spent most mm -hmm. of my time with the D'Amelios. I love when they when they do charity work. I know they won't claim me. I'm not asking them to <laughs> literally deny this, send me a cease and desist, but I love that family. Once she got access to like the back room, which was like where all the alcohol was, she did not see any of the artists <laughs> until Justin came out. <laughs> I think she even missed the first song of Justin. I texted her I'm ran. like, yo, get out here. And she sprinted fully. like and you're the biggest believer I know. Literally yeah. ever, 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 ever. It, like I, I died. There's no artist in the world <laughs> that I would, that I would like die to see. Yeah, Harry Bryce and I were really fucking up the bar. I'm like, obviously mm -hmm. Harry's such a clout farmer, so we were just back there farming our clout with everyone, all the little CEOs and shit. But seeing Justin Bieber was. Hunter, just I was sobbing. You were scream crying. I think I had marks across my neck from your nails. Just it was so cute. All them. the stories that you posted <laughs> her, she was really like actually sobbing. I've yeah. never been a believer. I love Justin Bieber like as a person. Yeah. But I I don't. Really and care he he looked like, so he happy. Did. There's just right. there's something about the way I love Justin, and I feel like in the lower times, like when he was performing, you could tell he didn't want to. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's just like obviously when you're touring like that and you have all the pressures of everything, but like it was like he was so happy to be yeah. on stage, and I was just uncontrollably Every five crying. Seconds. It was like, he deserves this. <laughs> Like Kim. <laughs> no, there's not one video of me there looking like literally pretty at all. Like, no, like, cute. Mm, I, I I'm like, she looked really, really cute at this event. She looked so <laughs> beautiful. It's just an hour of Brooke just hyping her up. I'm like, no, I told you. I told her separately off camera that she looked so beautiful. She's like, I, I was nice off camera. I swear. <laughs> Everyone's no. like, she's just she's guys. If I wanted sprinties. a bunch of fucking yes people around me, I would have them. It's, it's not so what I want. Rude. Um, no, but it was cute. It was cute, and I'm glad you got to see him. You guys, you never shut the fuck up about Justin, dude. I, and I never get to see him. I like every every, yeah. every time I love an artist, they always cancel. On you also their shows like you you got his tickets right when they she had one assistant last year who you had paid her like full two days salary to, to sit up and refresh sit up and refresh to get the tickets. Then you got the tickets and then the tour got canceled. And I was bawling. <laughs> I was so, so, so sad. Like seeing like holy and shit. I'm like tearing up now. I'm not even kidding. It changed my life. It was so funny though because everyone else was just so normal. Like I feel like like I just remember at one point I was like absolutely just like ah, and I turn around and Charlie and Chase are just like standing there all normal and they just look at me and they're like 
are you fucking good? What? I'm always like, like that about an artist, though. I'm either like completely indifferent, like that's kind. Of, I love Justin Bieber, I, but I like really, I wouldn't care. But like, if I love an artist, like I'm absolutely obsessed to the point where it's like actually dangerous. Like Billie Eilish, I would. Oh, great. Yeah, there's no one I love like Justin. I can't even explain. I had so much on a Taylor Holder too, being so godlike. I, everyone yeah. was making fun of me so much because Taylor and I were just up in the front, literally like praying so hard. It was a whole sermon for yeah. over an, like an hour of it. I mean, too. I'm fucking it like, believe crazy. it or not, I'm like pretty religious. So I, I was really enjoying the whole like Justin <laughs> God moment. <laughs> I'm like, God might claim Taylor. I don't know if you God just like <laughs> strikes her down with lightning right now. <laughs> Dude, there was a point in time where I church home here in LA. Jake and I would go every week just really? to try to hang out with Justin because yeah. he was like going. No, there were like no, literally he, yeah, every he week. Goes literally right here in the middle of LA. Anyone can go. He like shows up to all the events. He's like really, really cool. No, I, but I was really trying to just believe ex God. I think I'm going to start going back. It was so fucking Should fun. Not just Should say we go believe to believe ex God? <laughs> the collab that Justin was doing with God. <laughs> if anyone could collab with God, it is fucking Justin. I can't even deal. What happened at home? Hunter brought my ex-boyfriend's dog over last week okay. to um, to dog sit and I was dog sitting who it happened You I mean but you live with dog. me. Yes. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yes, fully brought my ex-boyfriend's <laughs> dog, dog over and Very we were dog, dog sitting all week. It made me realize that we do not have the capability as a friend group to ever have a dog because we really mm -hmm. wanted to get one. Like I've wanted yeah. a dog for so long, but like it was the hardest thing ever. I remember at one point She didn't even dog sit. I was dog sitting. The dog Fuck at, at, you. at one point the dog was pooping and had some extra It had shit on its ass. It had Dingleberry. And she was screaming, just being like, get the shit off its ass. <laughs> No, Hunter, was so I was sad. It was like the cutest dog. All yeah. of us were obsessed with this dog. He was so sweet, like so loving, whatever. But then all of a sudden there were dingleberries on this dog's ass and no one would even go near it. <laughs> I was trying. I for sure was trying. You were oh, not trying. trying hard enough. No, I, I mean, I had to get in at least one post a day so my ex could see it. So I could be like, look at me thriving Let with know, your dog. Baby. Let him know. Crazy. You know, what's Let's actually post. crazy. Speaking of this ex, I've never actually like publicized that relationship at all. Yeah. Which I think it's is okay if you don't. <laughs> I, I that's so true he's well. like god please don't it's one of the only relationships i've never ever publicized but i had a full relationship in like what like 2019 I love him, actually. with yeah, this photographer so great guy Fantastic um human. we've had our ups and our downs i don't even know you know it was it was turbulent yeah. I, I i don't know if i was the best um you were not fair i don't know if he was the best either but now now we're on she was probably fine <laughs> um <laughs> Brooke, I cannot handle this fucking out of you. Um, but actually, to add on top of my my newfound relationship right. with my ex, Hunter is about to go on tour with uh, Jaden and Machine Gun Kelly. I'm very excited for that. And um, we're super excited for that. He's getting paid so No fat. one's excited for that except for Hunter. Yeah, I know. I, I, I wish you the best. out on tour. So I'm, I'm gone for a bit. I'm very scared for you guys. Dude, I, I was just going to say the way my yeah. Hollywood fixes are going to be like blackout drunk. Like I'm going to have no remorse. Like, I'm you're, terrified. You're the only thing that Hunter's keeps me the going. Peacekeeper. He is the mediator. Bad things are definitely going to happen while he's gone. And it's funny, yeah. too, because I'm touring at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and Hunter said, fuck Tana. Uh, <laughs> Jaden's paying me more. It just seems like a more fun tour. That is so mean. Are you fucking kidding me? It's it's a it's a really awesome experience. No, and you've toured tour with me. I toured with you before. It's an amazing t time as well. But I think it's time for you to you know do your thing. But you want to tell him who you hired to I replace did hire your job? Your ex as well to replace my job. Who is it? A fantastic photographer. He could probably do video as well. And I think it'd be a great idea. However, Isn't it going to be so fun to be on tour? Here. Just imagine me on one little bus Wait, with so my he... boyfriend and my ex-boyfriend. Wait. They're friends. Who, no, they're not the really friends. They'd be subtweeting the fuck out of they each other. They were good friends. They were good friends, but then this pussy had to fuck it up. Wait, no, that's crazy. They were, they were friends and you dated them both? Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> and, the way I'm like, yeah, remember. and... And that's, I mean, and we all dated the same girl. L.A. is fucking disgusting. He dated her. He dated her. I dated her. I remember that when we get back to the Mindy situation. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Honestly, no, fair. Yeah. Fair. The fact L.A. is such a cesspool. It's kind of gross. No, but, but I didn't understand somewhat. that he's the one who's invited. So he's going on tour with you. Yes. What? Potentially, she asked him today after I. I mean, it would be. He literally. Honestly, it would be fun. He fits in well with your boyfriend, obviously, because they were already yeah. friends I, I mean their, their friendship they're they're on the rekindle mark i mean i called him today and he said yeah we're gonna take great photos we'll probably just fight a lot <laughs> i was like oh fuck i think not really i think because you'll have someone else there with you like taking up all your time when you're not 
doing the meet and greets and stuff, it will be good. I and, know. I and could you don't just... have to deal with a random person on tour, which is a whole other thing. That yeah, you that's hard because sometimes with. when you bring in like a whole like different person, it just messes up the dynamic of the friend group. We already yeah. know that he fits in nicely. Like everyone loves him. So true. <sighs> I know. Why does everyone have to love all my exes? Like God. You ch- I mean, you, you're pretty good at choosing them, honestly. But just not keeping yeah. them, baby. <laughs> I mean, that's very true. If you're honest about I that. feel like you could probably keep a guy like really easily. Yeah, if I just like wasn't a dumb kind. Right. Yeah, yeah right. fair enough. You said it, not me. Fair enough. You know, hey, Definitely Hunter, fucking suck my dick and die. What else happened? <laughs> what else happened? Let's see. Yeah. People were really asking me on Twitter to delve into all of my breakups that I haven't publicized. Yeah. And speaking of X, I guess we could get into that. I, yeah. I wanted to do that for a while, like talk okay. about some of the breakups that I've never had some clarification on. But I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know. Now's the time, baby. Yeah, You've got to. F- you, you have the floor. You know the one that really does kill me. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even. I'm scared because I have no I'm idea curious. what she's going to yeah. say. Honestly, sincerely, and like I know his image is a good guy, and I'm not trying to take away oh, from that. No. But it's Mod Sun for sure. Really? Like I, everyone just condemns me for our breakup so hard because of his amazing record Karma that he wrote about me. Great song. Great. Phenomenal song. One of my favorite song. songs. To be <laughs> You know what's really upsetting? Because I I loved Mod always. Like he was one of my favorite people. But there was one day where you guys were like about to break up when I was unaware of it. And I went to his <clears> house <throat> and I was just talking to him. I was trying to give him advice about you actually. And the next day you broke up with him. And I was unaware you were gonna do that. So he thought that I whatever I said that you were like in on it was the reason. And but he also would always and I felt like so horrible. Like he like, didn't, didn't allow me to hang out with you. Like you know what I mean? Like there was that <laughs> whole aspect of yeah. it, which I think is crazy because it's just like I love security and I think that that shit is so strange. But I mean, everyone that wants to know about our breakup, the the the, the literal actual actual reason we broke up, we were doing perfectly fine as a couple, mm-hmm. literally perfectly fine. And then I wanted to start an OnlyFans, and he wasn't. Really, he was not down. He was not down for it. He that was, just was the like, reason. That was sincerely. He was just so like. I, I am not shaming him for this because I think obviously like let's say I were to talk to him about it now or let's say we'd stayed together. I think he would have seen what it is and what it's become and become more accepting. Mm-hmm. But he was very much kind of like you're going like to become a porn star. Yeah. And I was like, you've dated literal porn stars. And like also why, like yeah, I'm you- not. Why are you mad? And like my thing always is just like if you date me because I'm wild and then you want to su- then suppress me because I'm now yours and yeah, you it's like the me. things that made you like me in the first place all of a sudden are the things you don't yeah, and I like saying. I've done that for people like change my career but the, or, and tried to like change but I think the truest love is someone who can accept you and empower you for like who you are yeah. and it was kind of just like I'm gonna fucking do this and I thought he would come around and then I was like I'm gonna do this and it was like I was launching on my birthday and it was like three days before my birthday we started ignoring each other so heavy and him and MGK were writing the script for the tickets to my downfall oh, yeah. movie and he completely ignored me ghosted me did not speak to me for like four days across my birthday across the biggest launch of my career of my only fans to write this script with mgk and then we were just like let's be I done feel like some and other things probably weren't included in that. and i swear i swear to god stuff. on my soul that is actually what happened and then we just did not talk like that that was the breakup and then like I'm not going to lie, it, like 48 hours after I knew we were broken up, I had yeah. gotten a little uber black over to Calabasas and I was I was a, I was a Jake Pauler. It was the most Tough. cut and clear breakup I've ever witnessed. And I think that that's like kind of the reason why people are so like black and white about it mm-hmm. is like me personally, I loved Maude when you guys were dating, loved him. And yeah. I still I to this day, I've supported him. And you've you've even been like, OK, saw you commented on Maude son's TikTok. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's because you were so private about it. Like, you really never even yeah. to us. I mean, maybe I don't know about you, but for me, you text me one day and you go, me and Maude just broke up. And we never heard. No, about and then him I was on a plane like to Miami with Jake. Like, it really. <laughs> yeah, but I, it did, that was probably one of the most upsetting friendship endings I had with him because he really thought did something wrong to yeah and our entire relationship was just very like hunters that you know what I mean just it was interesting but it was hunter just coming in between relationships I fucking hate it because I'm really not I and it feels it fuels the fire to 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 make people think there's something there that isn't because it's like we are just friends but like some people literally can't Fathom it. Handle that. I, I don't know. I'm the exact opposite. I will make anyone believe that Hunter is anything but my friend. I'll be like, God, I just like, I just love Hunter. And Brooke never, uses I've never Hunter. I've kissed Brooke before. Brooke uses <laughs> Hunter know, as like, a fucking I literally, chest Hunter pawn. is like my 
favorite it is, like jab. It I'm is like, so oh, God, funny though. Sorry, I can't. I'm going to breakfast with Hunter. We'll be literally we'll at a dinner a for six, and she will make every person stand up <clears throat> so she can be like a boomerang of, of them too. It'll be like <laughs> just me and Hunter's drinks. I like tag it. We're like she loves it. your tattooed arm too. Just getting the tattooed arm in the back of something. Like we're like driving in her car too. She's like, I put my hand like on her. No, he was going. He was like, you're honestly good at it. He like contributes to it too, but it's like. Like I'm always trying to make somebody mad, so I'll be like Hunter, hold on, and he'll be like, we'll be in the car, and he'll be like, hand on my leg, he'll be like, go. Brooke's fully, Brooke has Wild. fully now developed though, acc accidentally. I think this shit is genius. I just have to say it. She will accidentally, quote unquote, accidentally okay. be with another guy and be like, oh my god, Hunter, stop! Like accidentally call them Hunter. <laughs> I'm trying that. Them. Like, no, I'm not kidding. Like some guy, I'm like sick. some guy. Some guy was tickling me the other day and like Hunter just found out that I was tickling. This sounds like worse than it is. <laughs> it doesn't it? It's just bad. It sounds worse than it is. But like oh Hunter just God. discovered that I was ticklish and was like tickling me the other day. And I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so then crazy. like, then like oh, less than a week later, a guy, like a guy who I'm actually like into was tickling yeah. me. And I literally was like, Hunter, stop. And I go, <laughs> Are goes, you fucking? I don't even know about this until <laughs> right now. She did not tell me about this until this moment. She has people coming out to like murder me because no, of like shit. imagine like uh, that's the time when I'm like screaming out Hunter's name. It's like stop to and, and I'm like oh my god no I'm sorry like Hunter. But you me loved all the every second, Brooke. Let's talk about this real. guy though that no. you're trying to piss off. I'm not trying to piss guys. Great guy, I like him a lot. Shut. Ugh. And you know what's so shitty? Okay, so I use Hunter as a ploy all the time because it's like, it's this guy <laughs> so who, like, I, I, I joke about it. It's like, I'm dating him. He's not dating me. And that's like really what it is. I, the like, guy, not I'm Hunter. so obsessed with this guy and he like does not give a fuck about me. I can talk about him because he will not ever listen to this podcast. Yeah, he fully but I told her he would not take an hour to listen to the podcast. Oh, it's okay. Like, it's fine. You also did a TikTok where you called him musty. No, I called dusty. him dusty. Dusty. Which is also, and in case anyone's curious, I think Dusty calling someone that is a physical derogatory Okay, term. but I, well, I, I have to rep Brooke in the fact that, like, I mean, I could say a lot of things. Hey, if you're watching this, I like you as a friend. It's nothing to do with you. I just think, this. but just, just in retrospect. But <laughs> the way that he can be such a player to Brooke is Dusty. And I think she was kind okay. of coming for his We finally demeanor. clarified, though. For a long time, it was very up in the air. Like, how does he feel? How does he not? Now I know exactly how he feels. I wish I didn't, um, but I know I'm pretty much exactly. But how does he really, feel? Like we are very much just friends. But Brooke will go to the ends of the earth for this man. And it's crazy too, because when I tell you, I mean, you've heard about some of the people she's fucked on this podcast already. And the guys that get at you and the guys that you currently get with are fucking great, great. And the way she will go to the ends, uh, she starts crying. From this guy, <laughs> who, for this guy who literally bare, like doesn't care about me at all. Can we it's talk fine. about the Uber story, please? No, please. That was getting wild. This guy please. literally was in an Uber with her and another girl. I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this. Oh, trouble on. though, like run trouble. trouble. We don't even say the guy's but name. But that's the thing, it's he a punishment a for me. It's anyway. like, oh, he'll stop talking to you, like poor thing. But like, yes, like I will literally cry. Anyways, he was in this Uber. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, no remorse. And he was one one yeah. seat over, correct? Or were you in the back? No, we're, no, 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 we were sitting, I was sitting in the middle, he was sitting next to me. Okay, and you we're we yeah. we had a great <laughs> night. She got we're, confidence now. Now I'm, she's telling the story. Fucking talk your shit. Because it's true. I was at a party with this guy. I had the best night with this guy, but the whole time, this this girl was like right. all over him, you know, like g going up behind him, like grabbing him by the hips and stuff. And me and my roommate the whole time were like, mm, this girl, like, what does she know? Like, <laughs> like we're like, uh, like, how, like little. Dumbass. I'm like, little does she know? Like, <laughs> but uh, later on in the night, we're all leaving, and my roommate calls an Uber for like all of us to go mm -hmm. back to my house. Right. And we all get in. We're like, OK, it's just our best friend. And at the very last minute, he's like, oh, 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 come come with us. And he invites this girl in our Uber. She sits right next to me on my friend's lap. The and friend, I remember this night as with. well. This was no, no, like no. you were annoyed real time as well. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, it's not like this was just like. Yeah. So I'm I'm sitting in the middle. It's my friend with this girl on his lap. And then it's this guy right next to me who I have been hooking up with, talking to, who in I really with. like. OK. <laughs> And we're sitting and the guy who whose lap she's sitting on is like, oh, I got to get out. I got to pee. We're like stuck on the hill. So like it's going to be a second where we're at a right. stop. He can get out and pee. He gets out to pee and she sits in his place. 
And the guy who I'm talking to reaches across from me, grabs her body and puts her on his lap. And I'm like, oh my God. What the fuck is this? Oh, hell no. And See, that's there, why I'd be fucking every an, single one of his friends in that Uber. Now there's an empty seat next to me. Sucks. And I'm looking at it like, what the fuck was that? And then literally for a 40 minute ride home there, she's on his lap. They're ho- Give me your hand. They're holding hands like this. Ew. He's, no, all of his he's friends. He's kissing Dick's her on the cheek, and I'm sitting next unison. to her like. This, Think, and you were, I, and you were I, thinking I, you were gonna go home with him. Yeah, audibly okay. out loud, I'm going, "What the fuck is going on? Like this cannot be real. This can't be real." And my roommates in the row across from us, looking back, like, "Oh no, <laughs> she obviously knows." Yeah. And everyone in the car is like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And, and I just had to sit there though. and bite the bullet the whole ride home. I'm like, oh, "I'm gonna." probably i'm like trying not to cry i was like so sad about it and whatever he he tells you he doesn't fuck right Hmm? he tells you he doesn't fuck her right yeah and then recently you got a conversation he was like i like i was obviously started a fight after that because i was like that was so out of pocket that like yeah the musician or two he knew that was hurting me whatever and i was like like that was so crazy it's embarrassing like you're in front in front of your friends in front of my friends like don't do that because it's like people know that Mm -hmm. i like you don't embarrass me in front of these people. And he's that's the worst. He made me feel insane. Like you were so out of pocket. She's my friend. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, she's literally my friend. She was not his friend. Y'all. Brooke just found out that yeah. him and Uber girl decided to really do the fucking dirty. No, but it wasn't after it was before, which makes it a million times worse because it's like you made me feel crazy. knowing, knowing that you, you already hit. slept with her. Fucking insane. <clears throat> really insane. I really want this week to be about vengeance for you. I'm really, I'm not going to lie. Hunter's like the moral friend that's it like, is. just end it. He's and my, I'm like, yeah. fuck all his friends that's now. Like, no, he's my that. best friend. I love him to the end of the earth. Oh like, I really God. do. No, I, whether you say it or not, he really is my best friend. So, like, I don't want to just, like, completely eliminate him. Stop but, like, slanging your pussy on. at him, please. Oh, I am. Oh I promise. God. Mark my words. This is public. on camera. The way we're going to play this for her in a week. And she's I know. Gonna be she's like, literally going to be fucking him next week. With a beat drop, beat drop. <laughs> I'm never, I promise. I promise you. Well, she doesn't promise. She you. doesn't promise, promise shit. That happened never to me again. once, though. I got in a sprinter with Jake and this girl fucking sat on top of him. And I, I'll never, ever, ever forget it because the sprinter door closed. And this was right as like everything was public. And obviously we were like super open. But he was like, so we're only letting bad bitches in the sprinter, right? And I was like, oh, like <gasps> just fucking oh. like I couldn't even imagine. I've never had you know? a situation like that where it was like so blatantly. Inf- I was like, you know, how, like, I mean, he didn't owe me shit, though. I'm not coming for him. Fair, but fair, fair, you know. Yeah. So. See, what, look, what are you trying to back, reel it back on Jake and I? <laughs> I can't defend him. Like he's I really gonna... never got to know him at all. That was, the, that was the one ex of your. I think I got to know everyone. Why in your does everyone exes. think I fuck you and fucking hate my? Do you know that I've you know never had saying. a conversation with Jake in Me my neither. entire life? I, my my moral friends really avoided that. Well, no, I'm, I, really I was scared. I for some, I'm intimidated did. by him like heavy. I, he would look me right in the face and say something, and I'd be like. He always really loved you. I don't know. Ari and Amari literally absolutely never they, shut up they about him and such, loving him and so missing close him. With him. It's I, so I became annoying. friends with like John and Abby and all them after. Yeah. But like not when you guys were together. And you know. So moving on. Yeah. Move on. <laughs> That's the one thing everyone wants me to touch on. And I just like refuse because I'll just like have a breakdown. Maybe crying, one day I'll have a sobbing. I mean, but I've just done enough. People get it. I think you can you can assess the situation for right. what it fucking is. Fair enough. Ugh. Having Trisha on the podcast. She is so amazing. That was my first time ever meeting. She her. is so amazing. I wasn't there. I'm sure you all noticed. I booted Brooke and she has not, like, literally <laughs> not let it go. I'll never forget it because I'm Trisha's biggest fan. I would have been so good. I was just Honestly, actually, it would have been a big, huge mess if I had been there because I'm such a Trisha fan that it would have been, like, out of pocket. I would have been I like, was just scared of, like, too much going in, on. Like, yeah. She's, like, two times <laughs> speed and, like, wild. So I was just scared of, like, too much going on. Like, it would have been very overwhelming for me and it would have been a sensory overload because you, I am obsessed. You and I are very much the same in Hunter. I wanted him to, like, balance it out. I'm not even kidding. I was, I'm never afraid of people, like, ever. Like, I, like you know what I mean? But I was so, because Trisha and I yeah. aren't, like, like friends. You know what I mean? Like, like yes, like, we became, like, friends during that. And, yeah, like, you didn't have a lot of contact outside right. of the podcast. And I was so scared she was going to sit down and just grill me on everything I've ever done yeah. wrong. And to be honest, Trisha so up like you know like she might be canceled but when she's canceling you like she usually has a point i was so scared she was just gonna be like why are you like this this and yeah, this on the way she's there she was fake. like hunter you cannot say don't say this word don't say this word. you have to act like this and i was just like i'm just gonna be me because i'm not really I was freaking on out she was very nervous and then she got here and trisha was just like the most laid back she is so awesome sweet, human i was like, like, i would have been fully like, debating oh go ahead no you're fine i would have been like 
afraid too, just because like you could have like a perfectly like amazing, like normal conversation with Trisha and all of a sudden you say one thing and she could be like, wait, you're wrong. Like that can't be right. And then you're just fucking wrong. I was sitting in the makeup chair truly being like, do I just tell her I'm sick? And everyone's like, you're going to fake COVID to get out of this. Like go to the podcast. What the fuck is wrong with you? Icon. She's a legend. She's perfect. I love Trisha I'm actually so so happy we did it. And like, I'm glad that I just like bit the bullet and like did something I was afraid of and started with that. it's a great episode. It's so great. Dude, we took our tits out after and like took OnlyFans pics. And it like Let my out. entire life was made. Like I can't even. I have always wanted to see her tits in person, and I was just so, Good so, 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 so excited. It was absolutely ridiculous. What else should we talk about? I have to pee so bad. So do I. Okay, so oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I fucking hold. When it me time. and my sisters were younger, we used okay. to sit on the toilet together and pee at the same time. Should How is that it? even possible? What? what? Oh, is that real? I don't know. Did I you mean, hear it was about... it was real for it was real to me. <laughs> talk about? Oh my god! I don't think we can talk. About... I know exactly what, what? you're gonna say before you say it. One no, of our I'm friends nervous. just caught her boyfriend jacking off backwards on the toilet, <laughs> and I I don't understand what? the backwards Who? thing. <laughs> like she walked into him on the toilet backwards about to jack off. Yeah, I just want to know the mentality behind that. What's it? I'm so curious you're coming, on that mentality like, too. Like go in the shower. So your cum like goes into the toilet. Like, like also, why backwards though? Why couldn't you just backwards be turned around? Is weird. Like you're so you hard, could be standing so, like, up even. Fit, so it's gonna go up. It, it was just it didn't make any sense like logically for me. I just don't like the image. I don't like where you this would have is to going. be pointing it down. Yeah, it would, guys, like, be, we don't like, have painful. to talk about this. Yeah, when we can talk about how famous your best friend Tana is. I'm so oh, sorry. God. <laughs> this podcast is making me look literally horrible. I don't need an hour to just talk. <laughs> Last night I opened Twitter yeah. to find out that they mentioned me. In the latest episode of American Horror, I just no, cannot that's believe huge. they did that. That no. is actually. Super I won't awesome. take that away from you. That's fucking huge. And honestly, I was even feeling. I was like, on top of the world because I know all my boyfriends. Like <laughs> as Harry says, story, the trickle down clout. I'm not even kidding because all the people who like. I swear, my little boyfriends are watching American Horror Story. It's their favorite little show, and they're watching it and they're seeing Tana Mojo. And you know what they're thinking of? Not thinking of Tana. They're thinking of. Brooks Schofield Honestly, and that good pussy. for you. you yeah, do, I, oh, I kind of oh agree. God, I Sorry. was just gonna say something nice, but you said that pussy. No, like <laughs> honestly, that's cool. Of like, congratulations on that. I just said it so that I can help them be yes men. My that dad's is, gonna have very, a very stroke. Cool. He loves American Horror it, Story like, so much. Tr- when traditional media takes the time to like make a wish me and mention me, it's very cool because I just feel like literally I'm so that? canceled. No, I feel so, like we should not be saying make wrong. a wish me because that is for sure people who like need the wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let us know I'm in the sorry. comments if you think that that is offensive. I'm sorry to all the wishers. <laughs> Can we? I, I actually haven't seen it, and I want to react to it though. So could the we? Clip? Could we oh, roll we that clip? Because I, well, I, I, I don't know what they said. Oh, great. oh my gosh! I can't. Even, okay. When we first started doing this, we were having a good time, taking things over, crashing that Debbie top ball, or painting ten emojis house pink. No, no that's way. Fucking, that's literally insane. No way. That's, I don't know the context. I haven't seen the episode, but I just think that's so you fucking about You have to watch the whole writer had season. to write that down. It had to be approved. It went in. I don't know who approved there's that. There's probably 20 writers in the room. For, for a show like American Horror yeah. Story, there's probably 20 writers in the room. They were and they, drunk they that day. They deemed you relevant enough. Congratulations. That's crazy. Yo, thank you so like, much, American Horror Story, for keeping me alive for another I week. I don't, have, I don't have to bring up the McBrooms again this week to stay <laughs> relevant. Dude, the <laughs> way the huge. internet is like, if you talk about them one more time i'm sorry i need to stop it's just yeah, so easy it's the man. quickest million views on tiktok i can't on even fucking mm-hmm. deal can you yeah of course i'm gonna take a shot should we take a shot yeah. should we take a shot i'm scared i'm just getting nervous Ew, okay it's a more so girl disgusting. Ew, he's, you sound oh like my. your girlfriend who I don't have a girlfriend. Mm. Hunter has Let's twenty very, girlfriends, and we just have a million different names. Let's be for very them. clear. I don't have any girlfriends at all. Oh my god! This one in particular is ASMR girl. I used to. <laughs> we referenced her on the first podcast, um, ASMR girl. But Hunter, you found two new girlfriends this week, right? You okay. fell in love on at your shoot. I fell in love on my shoot. It's never happened before. I'm very clear. I'm very professional. I never, ever, ever, ever talk to somebody. Um, who is I'm shooting or even after I'm shooting I'll at least wait at least six months to even like think about talking to them Okay, keeping the, the photographer repertoire up yeah. No, but Hunter texts me right away He goes this has never happened to me where I meet someone and on the spot I'm like, oh my god I will drop every other girl for this girl and that's what he said. He goes I would Two more. Yeah, he came home like on a high. Every single girl for this girl, and he showed me who she was, and I was like, I would drop everything for this yeah, girl. Yeah, she's very beautiful. She's, she's honestly beautiful. stunning. Absolutely but, like, stunning. I, I already follow her on TikTok. Oh wow! I followed her before you she's ever said a TikTok. Word. I'm so excited. I, I sent her a DM after we shot, just pretty much saying like, "Oh, enjoyed shooting with you. That you killed it. Very, very professional. Very, very hoping casual. though that she was like, here's my pussy.'" 
Okay, okay. I don't think she's that type of girl. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm girl. sorry for the, very, all very the pussy innocent. remarks. I don't know what's wrong with you. She responded today. and said, love shooting with you, smiley face heart. And then said another message. Heart. She's on smiley face heart. Then another message saying like, ugh, dreading this drive home. And yeah, so like, she was like, I'll drive, drive you in the you. Jeep, I like, baby. I got no, this whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't out him. Don't um, out now me I'm like, again. I'm team up. Thank you. No, he, um, she clearly wanted to keep the conversation going. So I responded it. and I said, um, oh, like leaving so soon. Like, I would love to like have, I thought we were going to have dinner tonight. And she was like, how about Sunday? And I was like, I'm going to be out of town. How about Tuesday? Not just so Meanwhile, honest. though, meanwhile, while all of this is happening, I spent the entire weekend okay. absolutely, Hunter, I'm going to out you right now. He is so in love with, madly in love with Taylor, oh, David okay. Dobrik's assistant. She's really, really fucking pretty. Like, she's and we sweet. see Taylor she's a lot, so obviously, cute. because she is the one who's actually helpful when things are going wrong with our house. I've you seen know? her twice in like, my entire life. Just really? Very clear. Do you think that oh, when David I chose his assistants, he was like, you know what? These ones are both, like, because both of his assistants are like fucking beautiful. And Ella, all three, they're all so I mean, funny. Wait, I, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, oh Natalie. Oh, Natalie. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I was, no, because no, Natalie, I don't think it is his assistant anymore. No, she's still just like super executive. I think she's very, she's more like on the higher end of things yeah. i'm thinking ella and taylor yeah like they're both all of them just so fucking and beautiful and i'm obsessed with both of them ella is just like i she's requested just taylor on instagram maybe like i thought you were gonna year, tell like me i requested ago, taylor because <laughs> she's on private she did not accept me for i don't know did about, she finally least, accept you though yesterday so yeah. here's That's, the thing though i want to take full cool. credit for yeah, that cool. I, it was david's birthday so we were like at his house all weekend and there was a point where i was up in his bed with david sitting with taylor mm -hmm. just utterly campaigning i was feeding uh -huh. david lines like hunter's hunter's a great guy tell taylor and he'd be like so hunter's a great guy <laughs> like fully like script writing for david That's and awesome. we we pitch and we pitch and we pitch and taylor finally accepted your follow request she did. and i oh my god i would do anything for you guys to be together like she she's so cute for david's birthday too like yeah. everyone was going crazy even the other assistants i was definitely like feeding shots to ella whatever right. taylor's like in the club with like a macbook like working like out the party no makeup like Love you that. know I'm just I, like, I just think about how hard tana's assistants work and like just imagine that but like except Time's david like is and like yeah. brand friendly not that and like you're a not better huge, person just like david <laughs> but i'm just saying <laughs> fucking no it was insane but i felt like cupid i felt like i actually like got in there and i just i would do anything it would be the cutest Aww. fucking relationship i can't even do so I you're super welcome sweet. for that that, that that taylor that. follow yeah. i can't wow. even you know you know honored. what i mean truly truly honored yeah i, mean, I would just do anything for you hunter i oh, would do the same what do you how need sweet. who could you set me up i'm yeah. literally taken no, <laughs> yeah, I, right? no i'm next i'm the one who's freshly on the market yeah, I, need, actually texted I texted me. hunter the other day and i said listen i'm ready to be less toxic please <laughs> find me another boyfriend and hunter will set me up like here and there but he sets me up with like i love being taken i just missed the fun what? it's a job with what what happened go ahead no. The last person set you up with. The last That's person. Not her you fault. Kidding? We can't talk about that, right? Sit with no, an amazing can't. human. So he, don't the, act like he's not. And I would. I would person. drop. That's who. I would literally drop everything in the entire world for that man, but I can't even. We can't even talk about it because it broke my heart. Why not? Can we talk about Just it? Just briefly. Briefly. We can briefly talk about it. Yeah. Hunter set me up with pretty much the most eligible bachelor in the entire world. Great yeah. guy. Flawless. Fantastic amazing. Human. I love talented. him. Ten out of ten. I recommend. In another life, I would. I would kill to be in her shoes. Right. I would die for this man and he knows, still to this day but i just what would you do no i'm not gonna die brooke had another little fun time in the movie theater <laughs> brooke did have a fun time in the movie theater and uh something might have happened where i had an embarrassing moment with this guy i think that the, i i honestly is this outing just, if i like say what happened I don't I know what. He, I just say it. Like, I don't want him to be like, because it, it doesn't embarrass me, but I don't want him to be like, why would you talk she about that? She bled all over his cock, y'all. Uh, I'll do it. Shit. She bled everywhere. No, bled no, everywhere. Wait, all wait, over we're, my we're boy. Cutting this all out. over my boy. She bled. <laughs> 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 you were cutting this out. This is not we're even. Not. But he, he was so <laughs> fine with it. He was literally like so funny about it. Like he was completely. To be cool. real, the only reason I would literally absolutely ever bring it up, but don't get me wrong, obviously, if it's like your trauma, I'm not the one. I'll, I'll literally That's cut it out. Trauma. Don't don't call me out. Don't call me out. I will cut it out. That's not but trauma. what I like about him is I think that if you bleed on a guy and he reacts like a little pussy baby back bitch, it's an automatic sign that he's just not the fucking one. Like you're not a man. You can't handle it. If you can't handle the blood yeah. of like no, someone, this man like, was the sweetest angel after. in the entire world. He was like so. He was just like such an angel. She I've never had. Shower. By the way, yeah, that's how you no. know the guy's like actually with it. Because can it's I like, tell you something? We're whatever, getting really we're personal here on the canceled podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm like be. to be clear, my, I it, I get my period the same day every month, and it is on the 17th. Mm -hmm. This happened on the fourth of the month. Okay, okay. fourth of July. She's so wearing I, all white. Well, you don't have to say the fourth of July. Oh my god, get a little detail. <laughs> a little detail. 
child. I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> piss off her boyfriend. Right. Then she still cares about it, even right. though we yeah. fucking ripped him a new one on this podcast. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, but don't. He stopped listening by he, now. He was yeah. completely cool about it, so that's why I think it's fine to talk about because he like I never, he never like was up. like. He oh, did not care at all. He was like a sweetheart about it, but yeah. it mortified me because if it were like someone I didn't care about, if it were anyone, if it were Harry, I would have been yeah. like. Whatever. whatever but it was like somebody who <laughs> actually like i actually cared what he thought about me so i was like this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me i will never recover but it's from so that. hot that he literally just took it to the shower and didn't give a fuck about He's you so again hot. like that's that's everything and more like and if anything i think like uh, maybe i'm wrong but it kind of gives the story some character I which i think i'd rather it's like memorable was like oh i threw up on you the first time we met and then we got married stories i hope it's that so if you're listening there you go. <laughs> now you know. I'm not gonna lie. I think it gives you like it, it gives you a lot of character, and it makes you just more memorable in his eyes. And I wouldn't. Yeah, I, mean, that's what I'd I say. don't know. All it does is just give you like extra like memorabilia we've all, traits. We've yeah. all bled. We've all been bled. I don't want to be remembered that way. I don't I know have, about you guys. Yeah, I know. I've happened, happened, happened to me before. Never happened to me before. And all you do is just. Everyone assured me like that's so normal. It happens all the time. For me, I was so mortified because nothing similar to that has ever. Ha- I would never put myself in that situation where I like. How'd you react? Were you chill? Or you were just like, oh, this is the guy. I was not chill. Oh, but he, see, that's why I, I was like, he, he, he was, was the like, mediator so because fine. I was not, I was literally so, I, t- I told him, I was like, if ev- anyone were to ask me my most embarrassing moment, I would say this. Was that on our leather couch or our white leather Wait, couches? Wait, I want you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, in high school, this just reminded me of this. In high school, I was like, I have this boyfriend and I was cheating on him. Sorry. Um, and it was with one <laughs> of his like- friends. <laughs> and it was it was one of the like popular guys. And I was so excited to like hook up with him and like yeah. whatever. And I went to his house and he was eating me out and I bled I'm not kidding, like blood clots on this guy. And I knew I was on my period. I just thought it was over. I just thought it was over. Like, I literally shaved. She knew. I straight risked it for the biscuit. And I'm talking blood clots from like his scalp to like his chest. And this man was like, oh, like scarred. Like he was not chilled about it at all. He was literally scarred for life. And I'll never, ever, 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 ever forget it. When so, I, I was mean, in college, there was this one girl. I was in my dorm room freshman year, Halloween night. Hook up with this girl. She's wearing a Cowboys cheerleader outfit. That's where I remember. And we're hooking up. I'm just like doing my thing, or whatever. And I'm like, doing oh my your god, thing. oh my god, she's like super, like super about wet. wet. Say she's it. Okay. so <laughs> wet, <laughs> which for me, I love everything. making him bad. She did everything. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this is fucking like, yeah, great. She go, we go to bed. Next morning, wake up. She leaves in the morning. Before I wake up, I'm like, great. I look in the I, I look around and it looks like a CSI Dexter set. Like can blood, why would you not blood, tell me this when I needed it the most? <laughs> all across my bed, on my dresser, on my walls, everything. And I had no idea that. Did that you was... think it was like Halloween blood or did you just know? Oh no, I knew immediately. I was like You were like, oh wow. I remember wow. one time, Hunter, when yeah, I was, was like crazy. when I was uh, like into you a little, sorry, but I mean whatever. I was sleeping in your bed. <laughs> what who cares? And I fucking woke up to blood in your bed, like all over your bed. And I remember you were trying to tell me. It was my blood, and it wasn't my blood, and I'll never forget it. One hundred percent was bleeding? your blood. I, it wasn't like, my blood. I'm, I'm bleeding. No, I, I just think it's some other bitch bled in your bed, and you didn't want to. No, what chance. I want to say 0% right now chance. is that if you had blood stories, Hunter's a fake friend. What? I take back I everything. Forgot about it. I, forgot I take about back it everything now. nice that I ever said about Hunter this entire podcast because when I, Hunter was the first person <laughs> I, take, I called when this incident. <laughs> That's what he does. Puppy Everyone dog eyes. Hunter was the first person I called when this incident happened. I FaceTimed him and I go, literally 911 emergency. I need to talk to you right now. And I immediately calmed you down and said, it's okay. He's I told like him exactly what guy. happened. And I was like, listen, I have no idea. This is like the most awful thing that's ever happened to me. And, and uh, no, after a second, he said some nice things. But in, immediately he goes, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you bled on him? He goes, oh, so no, so no, 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 no. So he goes, oh, no. And I literally felt sick to my stomach. I was like, there. But, I, I have but to by end the end of the conversation, I'll let you know, like, he was like, yeah, but at so no fine. point during that conversation did Hunter ever say, it's happened to me. It's totally normal. No, the whole time he was like, I oh, forgot. yeah, that's pretty bad. But I'm sure he doesn't care. But like, that's really bad. Well, now you know that bleeding is just, it's, it's a part of life. It's fine. It's part of I've, life. I've, my last two relationships guy, okay. were vampires completely like obsessed with drink my period blood. It's that's kind of strange. So disturbing. We should wrap the podcast here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is another great episode of Canceled Podcast. And if you're my dad, I hope you stopped watching a long, long time ago. You're my dad. Like, where were you? Oh, God. We're going to get now. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. So, we appreciate I mean, should you. Should we end it here, bro? I was, I was going to end it with us actually discussing our friendship. Oh, uh, we should. We probably oh. should, should, we just, should we just wrap up quick. the Mindy shit and then go, fucking go and call it a day? It yeah. confuses a lot of people. A lot of people still watch our shit, see our stories, like, you know, see us posting each other and they're like, what the fuck? Like, isn't that Mindy? Whatever. I mean, even I did, our, even our, he, when we got here, he's like, who's Mindy? Like, we're reading the comments. <laughs> our like, podcast. Who's Mindy? <laughs> It, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I put out that like heater video, and it's not like we ever came back with like I wanted to do a sit down like a way to point get something out. If you type in Tana Mojo on YouTube, that's still her like front page. Video it also was your YouTube pinned channel. video on your response was your pinned video on your Instagram for a while too. Well, it's still in my bio. She okay, had to make so some AdSense to make up for me being just like rapidly. Girl, a content I, kind of I made rent for several months off that. Listen, this is what, this is what I'll <laughs> say I mean, about it. This is what I'll say about it. You were in the wrong. You were in the wrong. You yeah. both should not have acted the way you did. <laughs> I think you, it was, she has no space to talk about that. She had 46 boyfriends at the point at that time as it was happening. You shouldn't have done that in the movie theater. But regardless, like you were like, it wasn't that big of a deal. And she made it way bigger because she wanted to make a. I know. I was just, I was, was so a great story. And I'm so yeah. stupid. Like, I admire you for making a story out of it because honestly, I, I get all of you fans are really like she's really dry on YouTube right now. Anything that she can make a story out of, I want her to do it because right. because honestly, it, like it, it was a great great video. And it was just about if me, it weren't about me, fair. I would have been like, mm -hmm. oh my god, that was the shit. However, <laughs> it was about me. I obviously got the wrath of it all. I was in the wrong, 100%. Like you said, I was so, fully yeah. in but the so wrong, was I. I knew I was in the wrong. We could have entirely handled that privately. I think that I was just fully sent over that Chad Monson not made karma and that not been the worst week of my life. I don't even know if I ever would have talked about it. It was more just like these bad things happened, so I'm going to talk about them all. It was like, it was just, yeah. Right. You, like you said, it's like the worst week in my life or whatever. Yeah. You're like, but it was the I worst. was never, to be clear, I was never upset that she made the video about me. Like, I mean, I of course I was because I got a lot of like backlash from it. Yeah, but I was team. more I was a I was upset over the si situation because I felt bad that I had like done something bad to Tana and I said in my video whatever I don't watch it honestly but I was like maybe you should like because I still get money from it. <laughs> but I felt I felt bad that like a person who had been a good friend to me I like did a really awful thing to you. I really I mean did. I don't and when I even look back now though I don't even think like oh it was really awful. I think it was literally just dumb shit and we were like drunk and like who who really cares? I think that a people don't realize that like things can happen off camera. But also like what I say about it is I've never had a friend where like we weren't friends and their presence was so avidly missing in my life right. like I was just like I missed you every single day like I missed you every single day and then it was just Aww. like why like and keep in mind too this boy like he's such a fuck boy in LA it's not like it was anyone that I loved everyone knew. there's not a person we like, know who hasn't hooked up with no this man. sincerely like everyone's right. hooked up he's with a him. talker he's a sweet talker he coerced everybody 100% and I right. think to let someone like that ruin something that's clearly like so good and like both of us are just like fucking like little narcissistic like you know like we both are egos were pissed and we got pissed and we like we took it to the internet but like people make up and like people don't realize that and it's also like clearly after all that if we didn't love each other and think that the other like mm -hmm. likewise that are good people like we wouldn't still be here and it's right. like to us i guess it's very obvious but to a lot of people it's just like yeah. not well that's what yeah. people forget there's a lot of things that you don't see there's a lot of like behind like 99.9% of our relationship and our friendship is like when we're not posting stories, we're just like fucking yeah. sitting on the cat. Like so people don't understand, don't know what they don't know. And like, it's frustrating for me to see people like even commenting on this podcast that are like, they're frenemies. They secretly hate each other. It's like, okay, we had one big fight. We publicized the fuck out of it and we made our bag. Yeah. <laughs> Really and like nice we're both not the type of people like secretly hate a friend and have mean girl energy like and I don't like, have the not. energy if you think I could sit around and hang out with someone that I like actually hated like, like day why? and night all yeah. the time no, like sincere yeah also you would not have anyone in the house every day that you didn't enjoy like, their presence as well yeah, yeah you we, know we, we, like, I've watched you remove people from the house <laughs> in the past and like it's very and easily, Hunter was a like, big yeah. advocate too like of just like be fucking friends again because he saw us both like just strife the first time we saw it each was, other it was literally like I, I credit is like the worst breakup I've ever had like it was really <sighs> it was really like, really chills. sad and yeah, hard and like it was so sad I was shitty when it happened but it's like it happened to us. It did yeah. not happen to anybody else. And it's frustrating that people are carrying it on. Yeah, like, I get why people are confused and they're like, babe, you should probably talk about it and probably clarify. But to us, it's just so but it's over. Over. Yeah. It's, it's so, so over. I don't so think about over. that in my day. Yeah. I never, ever factor that into anything that I think about Tana 
ever. 100%. Right. 100%. I couldn't agree more. Like, it's the last thing I literally think about unless someone makes a joke and it's kind of just like, oh, haha, that happened. It's funny though, Brooke and I, when we weren't friends, we didn't see each other for so long. And like, I just remember the first time I saw you at a house party, I just started bawling. No, that's not true. Like, I'm going to, that's not, she's a liar. Wait, she's a liar. I go straight. I saw her. It, it was the first time that we had seen each other in person because it was like COVID times. We weren't really going right. out. I saw her in person. And I like, I was so sad. I was with my roommates at the time and I was mm -hmm. like, should I, I go talk that. to her? And at that time, Ari had just reached out to me and was like, uh, you know what? Like, he's like, I forgive you, like whatever. I did blackmail him to, into forgiving me, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> Ari's but he, very like, but he, he doesn't was, like, even kind take of playing mediator at the Tana, time. You know what I mean? And he was Good like, friend. you should talk to her. You should you should go up and talk to her. Like, you should talk to her. And so I was, all, I was feeling all hyped up. I'm drinking, yeah. I'm drinking. I go straight up to him and I go, you want to talk? And she goes, no. <laughs> Looks me right in the face and she goes, Nope. And I literally go to the bathroom, start sobbing my eyes out. Aww. I was like, sobbing. Oof, I was so sad. That does suck. I, I definitely, I was mad for a second. I don't remember that, she but I believe it. Like, she was like, I'm no, I don't want to talk. And then like the more, yeah. I don't know if it was like, she got more drunk or whatever, but like, was it the maybe, same night? Yeah. Same night. Probably, oh, okay. Probably 30 minutes later, she came up to me and she goes, okay, come, come over. And then I just talk. bawled. Okay. And we start sobbing to each other. And yeah. I'm, for, for probably like three, four yeah. weeks after that, people think it was like, oh, immediate. Like we immediately just started being friends again. We forgot all about it. No, like for weeks we were texting back and forth and I was afraid that maybe she had been so drunk that night that she didn't, didn't know remember, yeah. that she, or like that she didn't yeah. mean what she said. Uh, I was like, maybe she just was so drunk and she like thought she forgave yeah. me and like she didn't mean it. I kind of remember and I, I guarantee you the night started and I was just an ego and I was like, no, fuck you. And then I probably right. like a shot or two and I was like, wait, but I miss her so much. I, all yeah. I really remember is I went out with like Jack and Jack and like Sammy and all of them and they were like responsible for me that night and every single one of them after I was crying to you for an hour were like, we have to go. Like yeah. we have to leave Everyone you. Like was you've like, been bawling. What are we for so with? long? Yeah. Like I just remember being like literally bawling my fucking eyes out. Like we both were. We were just like, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. It was, a, I it I was, was just emotional. like, I would just be like, Tenet, you don't fucking care. And I'm like, yeah, Brooke, you didn't do it out of spite. And like that was it. It wasn't like a either. It was party. wrong. You both, yeah. I was I was wrong. Everyone like honestly, it was a really shitty situation. But it was like I don't know. I just it yeah. wasn't immediate. It wasn't like it's we just like all of a sudden we're friends again. Too. I texted. We texted back and forth for weeks without anyone knowing. I don't think anyone yeah. in the group really knew what was going on. We'd text and she'd be like, "Okay, now I'm in Miami, but like as soon as I'm back, like yeah. I really want to like sit down, whatever, have a talk." Yeah, which I never like, do. It was like a month True. straight <laughs> of us like really like we would we would text each other randomly and just be like, "Hey, I love you." Like just you know, I like really do love you. My what old I said. manager too. All while my people want me to talk about that's so bad, but God, I'm just not emotionally ready. We'll get there. Yeah. But um, all while my old manager was doing everything to make you sign to him and over a trauma bond. <laughs> like, was oh. like, and it yeah, worked. fuck her, fuck her. Let me take your money. And this week has been a hectic one. I don't even that's know. Sure. I was sick most of the week and a lot of dental surgery. So I'm just happy to like yeah. not be disgusting and be back. Yeah, and... we're all back on our A game. I'm back, back on, on the it. market. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hunter is available. He might not be. Who is going on tour with Jaden Machine Gun Kelly? He's going on a Jeep tour. Leave Jeep tour. <laughs> oh, a Jeep get tour. Out of here. Leaving us in the I'm goddamn rid of my dust. car. Actually, <laughs> it's gone now for the fucking first podcast. So we're good on that. Thank you guys for tuning in to yet another suable episode of the Cancelled Podcast. We appreciate you guys. We love you. Thanks we for coming. We love you. Peace. <laughs> Fan emotion is cancelled. A DWE talent production.